Alright. Let me zoom this down a little. Alright, this is, uh, I can't remember which one I labeled this. I think this is like the medium bin. The mega bin's outside, so this would be the medium one. Or maybe this would be the bulk bin. But either way, let's dive in here and take a look. Right off the bat, I see just some wet castings. Um, I am pretty sure I did dump some castings from another bin just straight on top of here, so that's obviously what this is. Ooh, very nice. So we got some straight worms just chilling in the castings. Clearly, I need. Ooh, wow. I like that. I like whenever I run my finger through and I see them. You know, hiding. But as y'all can see, there has been some reproduction. That's pretty much about it, though. They're not looking much bigger than... Bigger than what I'm used to. Alright, well, they're all congregating at the top. I don't even think I have food in here much for them. But either way, I got a good bit of worms in here. So now I need to think about... I don't know. Basically, this is how I'm kind of creating my bins, is I just have holdover bins. And even though it's not ideal conditions for them, as you can see, I can take a handful and have plenty of worms to just start a bin. With plenty of cocoons probably in here as well. Yep, oh, there we go. Nice, that's an, a different shaped one. So usually I get like the circle ones, but that one definitely looks more... Hold on, there we go. Very nice. Good to know, good to know. And I guess I should be picking those out too. So there's like one, two, I think those are both cocoons. Obviously one is for sure, but I can't tell if the circle one is or not. Anyways. um, So because of the way that this, oh yeah, see there's still water way up in here. Ugh. Yeah, so this is definitely just a holdover bin for these guys, unfortunately. And they probably suffer pretty far down in here. Let me see if there's any even down in here in the water area. Hmm. There's not. So that is interesting. I wonder if, uh, eh, that's not really a way to harvest them, I guess. I'm not going to waste my time thinking that. All right, but anyways... Basically, I was getting at how this container is just a little too compact for me to want to do any kind of wedge system or anything. Um, I did do the middle as like a feeding zone, and there's pretty much like nothing left. You can see the twigs and the, the leaves, obviously, but even some of this matted stuff. The uh, ew, God, that stinks. Because it's obviously matted. It's got no aeration in there. But... It is what it is. Oh, so we are gonna help some of these guys out. Let's see, that's an interesting color. But we're gonna help some of these guys out and create some new bins for them so we can get some better conditions. Either way, though, as you can see, okay, so there we go. There's some of that matted stuff. And they're working their way through it. They are, uh, they're definitely working through it. I don't know what they're doing with it. Probably just laying stuff in there. I see a lot of dragon fruit seeds still. Yep, there we go. Dragon fruit seed. I don't really see the skin. I see the color of the skin. Mmm. I guess what I'm smelling is the, I guess it'd be the lemonine from the lemon, because it's a very sharp, oh, there we go, just as I was talking about it, Whew. but they are definitely working on that lemon, I don't know which worms are, but they are, let me see if I can find better footage, it's very interesting. Something's working on the lemon. 
thing is with some of it, so let's see if I can find anything in it. Uh, no, that's more matted paper towel. Oof, poor guy. Oh, never mind, I think he's chilling like that on purpose. Uh, this is, is this a red wiggler? I don't know, y'all can help me figure it out. I apologize that I'm just rambling, but it's hard not to when I'm obsessed with the wormies. These ones are interesting. They're like weird and yellow and black on the back, on the bottom. Anyways. There's... Ooh. Now is that a cocoon? Because it's a big boy. Yeah, that's a, that's a big cocoon right there. Wow. So that's another thing I need to get good at is kind of getting to where I can um, harvest some of these cocoons. All right, this is about the last pull-up I'll do. I'm, I'm tired of just pulling up. I think that's how long my videos get way too long because I just get in here and just play around too much. All right. So that's pretty much the check-in on this, on this bin. This is mainly a video just sort of showing you that these paper towels wasn't necessarily a great idea. If anything, you can use them as just holding moisture at the bottom of the bin. So that maybe the worms don't drown. But as far as being useful or edible or productive or any of that, uh, I, didn't, I didn't find them useful at all. So I hope that helps anybody looking for that information. Uh, definitely just going through more worms. Looking at them. There's plenty of them though, that's for sure. I really need to get all this out and create a new bin with it. So I think that's something I'm going to work on. I think in this next video I'm about to go ahead and work on, I'm going to do, pick out a good bit of this stuff. Because some of this, like I said, was castings I was going to harvest and they were just wet. And because of that I decided you get to just sit in here for a while because I don't have time. Life with my family is more important. So unfortunately that is why I haven't really posted as much as I want because I really have to make sure I take care of my family time. My daughter is literally just, just a year old, a little bit older than a year. So I'm making sure I don't take this more seriously than that. Um, I don't know. Because honestly, I haven't really been messing with this at all. And even as you can see, I still got me some wormies just chilling. So that's very nice to know about worms. You can still have a normal life and just do whatever you need to do. And these guys are still going to eat and get pregnant and poop out little babies. Eventually I'll get in here and I'll try to separate some of these worms and see what the differences are. But I feel like... Most of them are the same. They're just in different growth patterns or different growth stages. But anyways, this one need, this video needs to end before it gets to 10 minutes. So I'm trying to make them no longer than like 10 minutes. If I can only make them five, that'd be preferred. I just feel like I'm wasting too much time of y'all's time. Uh, if they're any longer than that right now, maybe I can do better with the content and more information and whatnot. But until I have better discoveries from experiments and whatnot and right now i'm wasting y'all's time so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video let's just see some of them wormies they're not really doing much they're hungry but you can see them anyways thanks y'all for watching i'm gonna get on to making a, a bin to wedge or what is it uh horizontal harvest whatever it is i'm gonna try to do that set up a bin and we'll see how that does over a two-week period so keep tuned for that thank y'all